Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Memory Box video. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Cody and I'm Project Coordinator for North Hampshire. Today we're going to be talking all about the seaside and holidays. Remember you can pause this video at any time to discuss the subject. Sit back, relax and let's go on a trip down memory lane. The beach is my favourite place to be. I love watching the waves and listening to the sound of the seagulls. I have a couple of seashells here that I like to look for when I'm on the beach. Can you remember what they say you can hear when you hold a shell up to your ear? I can hear it. Can you? What other things might you find on the beach? I have a lovely starfish here and if you look closely the detail is absolutely incredible. Can you see these little spikes? Have you ever held a starfish? Have you ever been exploring in the rock pools with one of these? What sorts of things did you find? Perhaps some crabs? Did you keep them in a bucket? What sort of things do you remember wearing to the seaside? Later on in the video there's going to be lots of different photos for you to look at and you can see how fashion has changed on the beach over the years. Thinking back to when you were little, do you remember seeing your dad or your granddad wearing one of these? To keep the sun from burning their head. And perhaps a pair of these round their neck so they could look out to sea. Some people tell me that these were actually used to look at all the women And how about the ladies sunbathing with a pair of glasses? The bigger the better, so I've been told. And how about if the ladies wanted to go in the water? Does anybody remember wearing one of these? It's a good look, isn't it? And children would often be in knitted swimming costumes. Do you remember having a knitted swimming costume? What happened when you come out the water? Was it soaking wet and hanging around your ankles? Who remembers the bathing machines? They were like little wooden huts on wheels. You could get changed from your normal clothes into your swimwear and then wheeled down the beach into the water. This was to stop other people, particularly the other sex, seeing you in your bathing suits because they weren't considered appropriate proper clothing. This is where the idea of beach huts then came from. Beach huts these days often sell for as much as £270,000. So let's think about the different types of food you eat at the seaside. Who takes a picnic with them when they go and what sort of things you have in your picnic? I always remember going to the seaside with my grandparents and we'd always have grated cheese and tomato sandwiches and corned beef and tomato ketchup sandwiches and we'd always have a flask like this we'd have a couple of different ones for tea and coffee and lots of little treats in the picnic how about seafood? I love seafood. And it's always so nice when you can sit by the sea, tucking into some cockles and mussels. Have you ever tried jellied eels? Don't like the sound of them, but I do eat most seafood, including whelks. And then, of course, fish and chips. Everybody loves fish and chips by the seaside. 
and they always taste so much fresher, don't they? What other things can you think of that you get by the seaside that you can eat? I'm thinking of one right now. It's bright pink, about this long, and it's got writing through the middle. That's right, a stick of rock. And you can get novelty ones with rude words going through the middle. I used to find them very amusing when I was younger. Talking of things I found amusing when I was younger, the naughty postcards. Who remembers these? This one says, four nice marrows you've got there, Mrs. Ramsbottom. We've got some other postcards here. There's one, this is Margate. And you can see Punch and Judy on the beach. Then we've got Caster Holiday Camp. Blackpool. This one's actually been written on and it was sent in 1953. Walton on the Nays. This one was 1955. And then I have a couple of American ones here. Having a wonderful time in wonderful Michigan. And San Francisco. Who remembers souvenir letter cards? So you'd open it up and it would have lots of different pictures. You'd write your message on the back. And this one was sent in 1956. So I expect there's a few of you that remember sending these. This one's from Southbourne. I think the most popular seaside treat would be an ice cream. Who likes to have an ice cream when they're by the sea? Do you like a Mr Whippy with a flake? Or do you like to have a flavoured one? I quite like to have a flavoured one in a waffle cone. Who can tell me what this is? So it was used between the late 19th and early 20th century. It cost one penny. So has anybody ever heard of a penny lick? The ice cream vendor would put a small scoop of ice cream inside for one penny and then the person buying it would lick it and hand it back and it would get reused for the next person. It usually wasn't washed in between so after a while it was banned as they were worried about the spread of disease as I'm sure you can imagine. What activities do you take part in at the seaside? Did anyone ever go on a donkey ride? Building sand castles? And of course the Punch and Judy show. Who remembers those? Quite strange looking things weren't they? And how about things like fun fair rides and amusement arcades? Now we're going to take a look at some different photos of the seaside over the years so you can see how much fashion has changed. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. 
So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Let's talk about holidays next. Whoever went to a holiday camp like Butlins or Pontins, there were lots dotted all around the country, weren't there? I put a leaflet here for Prestatin Holiday Park. I believe this is in Wales. Yes, the North of Wales. States that there's entertainment for all. We've got some pictures there. How about Blackpool? So this is a brochure from 1939. Has anybody ever been up the Blackpool Tower? Pleasure Beach by night, luxurious open air baths, a cliff garden and waterway, and the superb ballroom are just some of the pictures that you can see inside this leaflet. And then how about further south of the country? I've got a nice Somerset leaflet here. Who went on holiday in a caravan or camping? I go camping every year with all of my family and we go to a place called West Bay which is near Bridport in Dorset. I'm going to show you a couple of different pictures now of holiday camps caravans and tents so as you can see here we've got some images from holiday camps what sort of activities did you take part in at holiday camps do you remember the red coats and the camp mascots has anybody ever been camping so in the top left hand corner we've got a trailer tent and then if you look over to the right hand corner you can see a more modern tent how about camper vans and motorhomes? We've got a nice selection here of some different types. My favourite are the Volkswagen. Has anyone ever had a caravan? How many people could you fit inside? And did you have to move furniture around to make the beds? What sort of activities would you do when camping? Perhaps some fishing, swimming, or maybe boat rides? Has everybody been on holiday abroad? Where was the first place you ever went to? How old were you the first time you went on an aeroplane? And did you enjoy flying? I was 21 the first time I went abroad. And I went to Tenerife and I hated the flight, but I quite enjoy flying nowadays. What's the longest flight you've ever been on? And have you ever experienced turbulence? It's quite scary, isn't it? Has anyone ever been on a cruise? Take some time to talk about the different places you've all visited, your favourite destinations, or places you've always wanted to go to but you've never been able to get there. Do any of you collect holiday souvenirs? I've got a couple here. Who remembers the old shell trinket boxes? I remember most places used to sell these when I was younger. We've got some thimbles, which are quite popular. There's one from Tenerife and one from Crete. A little clog from Norway. A lovely decorated wooden box from Bulgaria. Who remembers these? They were very popular once upon a time. Lots of people have told me they'd collect these. You could get them wherever you went and they'd have different outfits on to suit the area that you bought them from. 
something I collect and it's quite a popular one amongst a lot of people is fridge magnets so every time we go somewhere new we get a new fridge magnet What souvenirs have you collected over the years from your holidays? Thank you for watching this week's video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's brought back some nice summer memories for you. Bye! To download our weekly reminiscence resources, visit www wessexheritagetrust.org forward slash downloads. You can also find our weekly reminiscence video available on YouTube by searching the Wessex Heritage Trust. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.